inheritance in Swift. Previously, we've looked at classes and objects. Now, can you imagine trying to write a class that covers cars, coupes, trucks, family cars, etc.? Well, there would be quite a lot of repeated code. And as I've said before, we cannot repeat code. That's bad. So this is where inheritance comes in and saves us a lot of trouble. Let's see how inheritance works by implementing some of it in our playground. Let's create a class which is called just simply car. And we're going to give this class only one property, which is let number of wheels equal to four. Because a lot of cars have four wheels. Then let's say we want a family class. Well, let's have a class called family car. Now, I could initialize this and say the let number of wheels equal to four. But hey, I've repeated code and that's bad. Or at least I've told you that's bad. So delete that. And what you're going to do is put a colon in and say this inherits from car. So it grabs all of the properties, methods and things available in car and assigns them to family car. Then inside of family car, you can add various other properties that only sit with family car. So let's have let number of doors equal to five. Now, if I created a family car, var my family car is equal to a new family car, we can now access both the number of wheels and the number of doors. So my family car dot number of, look, we have doors and wheels. So I can grab the wheels and it tells me we have four. So our family car has inherited from the class of car. Now, you can imagine this inheritance can actually keep going on and on. I could create a class called big family car of, and this would inherit from just the plain old family car. So big family car gets all of these properties, but because family car inherits from car, big family car also gets the number of wheels that are available inside of car. And then inside of big family car, we can have a var size equals large, if we so wish. So that is basically how inheritance works. And if I wanted to initialize a class, I could put my init into class of car. So let's have an init and num wheels, which is of type integer. And then we say self dot num wheels is equal to the number of wheels that we've passed over. So I'm just going to remove that and make it an integer. Now we have an error on my fam car because it wants the number of wheels. And let's be hilarious and put six wheels on it. Now the number of wheels of our car, oh, we have a slight error and I know what it is. We have to put our label in. Num wheels is six. And now we have our line at the bottom that tells us we have six wheels on our car. Ridiculous car. So that's how inheritance works. And again, it's a fundamental principle that we're going to see every single time we open up our iOS projects.